And for the first time in 179 days, the Elite Series is back in our lives. The front Toledo Bend. <laughs> Trying to win AOI again this year. Uh, and it all starts with the first cast. Got him. Yeah, there's oh, all big ones in there. Oh yeah, that one definitely helped. It's better. Yeah, I'm the player. We definitely got the ground a lot more fish. Much lower than I expected. Welcome, welcome to a new season. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Repeat after me, Bandy Hammer. No, Bandy Hammer. Bandy Hammer. Where are all the snacks at? All right, Kira, one last time. This might be the most Kyle. important thing. What? See, he answers. He answers to Kyle. No, Bandy Hammer. Woo -hoo. Other than one big one I caught up shallow on a swim jig. Well, the, the biggest ones I caught out deep we're on jerkbait. So I'm like, I might as well keep doing that. It's gonna be a little bumpy today, I believe. So we're gonna uh, try to manage that, manage our time wisely and make good, good sound decisions. For the first time in 179 days, the Elite Series is back in our lives. We're back. I don't know where Kyle's been the last 45 minutes. Hopefully he got some good shots that you guys seen. Uh, because I haven't seen him in the last 45 minutes. And we're blasting off and he's like, hey, we need to get a morning shot. So here we are, doing a morning shot. It is day one, 2024, Bassmaster Elite Series. We're on Toledo Bend. We're gonna go catch some big bass. Princes, hopefully. Uh, yeah, got a quick run this morning. It's gonna be a little bumpy today, I believe, so we're gonna uh, try to manage that, manage our time wisely, and uh, make good, good sound decisions. We're trying to win AOI again this year, uh, and it all starts with the first cast. Welcome, welcome to a new season. <laughs> good job, buddy. Go get them. It's like they're just gone. Maybe they slid out here a little bit deeper. Nobody's home. Oh, hello, precious. Oh, my God. I don't think he's very big. These little dudes, E26 cold tags, put them on the back fin. Nothing in their mouth, they can swim around. They're being way smarter than me this morning. I love that thought. He's not very big, he got a little bit more meat to his bone there. Grab the line, just guide the line. Got two. Got drunk. We got live. There, buddy, but there we go. Bonus. Good. He's a spot of pot of mix. He is 14. Old spotted dog. I'm not talking D D O D. I'm talking D A W G. If I get a cast on him and he bites, you should probably record. Nothing, 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 nothing. I'm not liking it. Wherever we go, it's probably gonna be a little bumpy getting there. Got him. It's better. Got him. A little bit better. And you should have got that one. If you didn't, I really don't know what you were doing with your fly. Hobbit hole in the tree. I'll let you sleep in that if if I ever get enough money to buy this house right here. You can sleep out here in the bottom of this tree. Part of part of the safe, the Vandy Hammer Safety Protection Act. Move somewhere and catch a bass. That's my plan. To the bank, catch old big. 
sometimes, maybe. Good sometimes, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. They've just moved a lot in just two days. My fish didn't just turn into ghosts. Big, but it should help the cause. <laughs> they need to be built like that, but longer. Yeah, a little DD 26 today. Got a little bit more meat to him. Oh, yeah, that one will definitely help. Four and a half to five pounder, no big deal. Just, just one big old behemoth one, that's all. What in the world? Is he gonna get it? He got it. That one should help. He'll help our cause right now. They're thick and healthy. Even though I lost that one, it's a good sign to see that fish around. I mean, there's probably some more big ones around. If I could just get those bigger bites. Oh, he did see it. A little more meat. Get rid of that old first bass we caught. Yeah, there's all oh, big ones in there. Yes! You see how many were in there? I don't know if they could see that on live or not, but there was a pile of those in there. We better probably get a little closer to the ramp. Worst day one, I'm a best day one. When you my Winning's gonna be a little bit of a long shot. Hey! Five fish here today for Brandon Polnick. 15 pounds, 11 ounces. Not a bad way to start it. It's not my worst start. It's not my best start. Uh, I'm, my goal is to win AOI. We didn't just completely blow that out. I'm already thinking about it. Um, I won't look at the points, of course, but I'm already thinking about it. I want to make the right decision to try to do that. Um, and you don't have to win every single tournament, so I'm trying to be smart. I'm not bunting but we're trying to make smart decisions and, uh, and just see what happens at the end of the year. Just this morning, I feel like the morning bite's really important, or it has been during practice. Maybe today it wasn't, I don't know. But I wasn't in the right areas. I made a decision based on where I thought the bigger ones would be and where I had caught some big fish, and those fish were gone. They disappeared. And you always think, oh, clouds, like the fish get up and they chase more. We had more clouds today. All the fish were deeper. It's the craziest thing, uh, and I don't. So I don't know what what causes that exactly. But this week I've been patterning water clarity, which is pretty crazy. So people say, "Well, how do you pattern water clarity?" I've been using this app. It's called the Deep Dive app right here and it it has a filter on the function right so like a water clarity estimate you look at it and right now it's saying february 20th was the last time that this was registered so this is the overview you can see the dirtier water is the darker color it's got a scale but i went to filter and i filtered out to this water clarity and what i realized is that and i just figured this out during practice i was catching fish and then i did this filter and i looked back at everywhere that i had found fish and started catching fish and every single one of them was in this like in these zones if it was out of that water color i was not getting bit and that was the first time that I've ever ran a water clarity pattern. But it's pretty dang cool. You can change it, right? You can change the way, like the angle of it. So you got more of a 3D mode going on, but able to run a water clarity pattern this week. Um, so 
The reason that's important is all practice it blew out of the north. Right, we had a cold front, north wind. All of a sudden, today, south wind. It's going to change probably the way that the water clarity works on the main lake, which seems to be where most of my bigger fish are. Uh, so I'll be studying that to figure out exactly where we need to be. Tomorrow. Noise. What's going on the rest of the night? Uh, the rest of the night is dinner. Dinner. We're not trying to wake any babies. I'm going to make some coffee. The coffee's already made, Brandon said. I'm going to pour myself some coffee. De dos. Uh, got a little ground to make up. But that's okay. We're not scared. We uh, got a bit of a game plan. Wind should subside a little compared to yesterday. To make up that ground slide up into the, the cut line and then <whistles> climb up a little bit more. Some may even refer to it as a BP sneak. You're like locking the hubs in basically. Yeah. A little four by Now you really are turning into overland guy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Newest team member of the crew, Kira Dean. I'm the third child. Yeah. Also, in other news, Brandon got these nice new microphones that are very, very cool. Very small. They're this size, but I forgot to get a lav mic that would fit these. So, Brandon is stuck with the old mics that are this size. Kyle, the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> that actually has some. Bye. Bye. See you when you're older. All right, folks, I'm backing down the boat this morning. This is a big move for me. I don't know how it's gonna go. Hopefully it goes well. Last time I did this, it went very bad. All right, we're approaching the ramp. Nerves are at an all-time high. Wish us luck. Alrighty, we got out of that relatively unscathed. I'd give myself a B plus. Didn't have to put her in drive and pull forward at all. Kind of feels like your dad looks at you, you know, and when you kind of become a man, he goes, gives you that like little head nod, you know? I feel like I got that little head nod. Day two, it's time to party! Right. Go get your bass! 103 anglers. Turn the camera off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Hope you find some bass. Coming at you. They gotta be somewhere around the tent. But they're definitely not where we left them. Not the giant one. Maggie, hey, stop that. A little better. That is not a big one. That is a three pounder. <laughs> Kyle's missing shots already. Good morning. I don't know where the bass went. No bass is easier. Back to a ghost town. That'll help. Oh, God. Got him. Yes. Need a limit of those. Well, shiza. I'll definitely keep. Not a big one. We needed him. I think it took us a lot to get a limit, man. He saw it, but he didn't like it. I think it would be this bad. Hardly seeing anything. Don't even know what to think about it. Chasing it. It's a good one, I think. It's not a giant.
Eight. Gail says we got 15. Making ground, what number is he? There's a lot more fish around here, but we need to find the bigger one. We saw it. Oh no, we had it. Looks like such a big one. Might be a little bigger. Not very much, but he is a little bigger. That feels good. Feels bassish. Nope. It is definitely not the bass. Definitely of the whisker biscuit kind. Thirty-three and a half. Missed the first cut of the year. No, I'm not gonna. You're not even close. I missed it by pounds. I bet I'm gonna miss it by two pounds. What kind of bet you wanna make? What's it right now? Uh, thirty-three and a half. Last I looked. I'll have thirty and a half or thirty-one. Consistent. 15-10, a very <laughs> consistent tournament, but uh, you may may get in trouble because I know the crew does not like to kick off the season without cut ice cream. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be sleeping outside on the deck of my Skeeter uh, tonight. I don't even know if they'll let me back in the RV, so I'm gonna have to regroup, get ready for Lake Fork. Uh, you're only as good as your last cast, so I just gotta keep casting. And uh, hopefully we eat lots and lots of ice cream at Lake Fork. Y'all get a cut ice cream? No, I think we're gonna be short. I got a picture of it? Maybe next time he'll get cut ice cream. There you go, man. Maybe no. next time. Did not have the tournament that we wanted. The good news out of it, right? So we're always, we're always trying to take the positive out of something. I don't think it's gonna be a total bomb. Kind of trying to keep light of that. Um, and fish a little rush this week so hopefully we can calm things down and make better decisions at Lake Fork. I do love Lake Fork. It's one of my favorite places to fish so hopefully we can make the right calls there. Well Tiff made pulled pork in the crock pot. Can you show us the Wolverine pork? The pork wolverines, like candles you got going. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Eight. Time to eat. Eight. You can go, mmm. Mmm. Mm. Hungry. Mm. I've never cut anyone else's hair. I do cut my own hair on the well for like the last three ish years. Justin said he needed a haircut, so he's my first customer. It's way easier than cutting my own hair though. I've got a lot of faith in anything Brandon does. And I wear a hat all the time, so that's also a plus. <laughs> that's how fisherman's haircut goes. <laughs> Man, look, that's starting to look good. Ain't no doubt. Ah, now I gotta go do uh, some Bass Live. Like, Just finished up doing some Bass Live mix. Heading back to the camper to get some lunch because I didn't eat before I went. And we got a whole slew of kids here. We got like a whole uh, yard football. We do. And I haven't even got to throw. I've been working all morning. I haven't even got to play football. Kyle's been playing football, hasn't even got to work. <laughs> what are we doing? About to see me score a touchdown, Brandon, with the camera in my hand. Now I feel so good. All right, team celebration. Remember the celebration. So he just smoked me right back. Right back, he got me. This is the J cam. Enjoy. I felt like I was pretty solid. Probably best camera work we've had all week, too. Let you guys be the judge of that. 
meet Brandon, but don't say anything. We did meet him, right? Um. And we got the best picture. I'm on next. the other team. Oh, you are on the other team, but you lost. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Huh? Well, you scored. No, we we won. No. A lot of water, not a lot of bath. I said, I never felt so good. That is a wrap for Toledo Bend. Not the start to the season that we wanted. It wasn't a total bomb. Uh, and then right away we got Lake Fork. We we're actually at Lake Fork right now. We made the drive last night. And uh, looking forward to this one. I think this one's going to be interesting. I don't think it's going to shape up like everyone's thinking it's going to. Uh, you know, all the weather says it's going to be the bank. I don't know if that's going to be the case, um, but huge congrats to Kyoya. Broke 100 pounds again, won him another blue trophy. It's pretty dang impressive. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you get your tourney tea, you know, evolution of the bass fisherman. And uh, yeah, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Show us your muscles. Show us. Show Watch us. Show us. Show us your muscles. Oh, big muscles. Wow, high five. <laughs> <laughs> and Kyle cooked. That's a miracle. Yeah. And he was my nanny so today. Double, double, double. Right. Never felt so good. Never felt so good. Never felt so bad. I felt so good.